Last year, Lissoberi debuted the dive coaster Valkyria that marked the park's biggest investment ever, topping Helix, with a total cost of around 300 million Swedish crowns. Considering that, it should come as no surprise that 2019 is going to be a calmer year on the attraction side, with other exciting projects going on around the park instead. But already in 2020, the next major attraction is coming to Liseberg, the much-anticipated replacement for the recently demolished classic Sagoslottet. So let's find out. Even though 2019 will not be bringing any new attractions, Lisbeth has still been busy improving and renovating attractions and areas over the winter in preparation for future development in the park. Being one of the oldest attractions in the park, opening all the way back in 1987, the classic roller coaster Lisbeth Bonan has for quite some time been in need of some renovation work to ensure its place in the park for the foreseeable future. For the 2019 season, as evidenced by this concept art, the ride will undergo major refurbishments to the station building that will receive a new brick facade as well as new decorations to the building's exterior. And as you can see on these pictures, courtesy of Lund on the theme park review forums, work has been moving on at a rapid pace and is all set to be completed for the 2019 premiere. The station's interior has also been renovated, and supposedly minor adjustments have been made to the sound system, which may suggest that the ride will get its own soundtrack, but that is just speculation for now. Additionally, the current 30-year-old trains will be replaced by new trains from the original manufacturer, Sirer. And as you can see from these photos, they will be very similar to the old ones, with only minor changes, one likely being the addition of seatbelts, just like we saw on Helix last year. But that's not it for 2019, as Liseberg will also be focusing more on live music this coming season, with the introduction of Lilla Scenen in the heart of Hamnområdet. All smaller music performances that previously have been held at the small stage Tob Scenen in Kaninlandet will from 2019 move to the new stage, that will have a capacity twice the size of its predecessor. And just like previous years, you will still be able to dance to many popular Swedish dance bands on Lilla Scenen's dance floor, Polketten. Other changes in the area include the addition of boats in the canals for added capacity to the stage and the restaurant Handkrogen receiving a smaller renovation. These changes are all part of a larger effort to revitalize Hamnområdet, where the ghost house Gasten is also situated, into a festival and events area that will feature a combination of live music and food offerings to be enjoyed along the waterfront come 2019. Moving a bit south in the park, some small changes have also been made to the park's wooden coaster, Balder. Unlike the rest of the area, Balder has no apparent theming that makes it fit with the Nordic mythology theme of the two other attractions, Luke and Valkyria. From this season, vegetation and rockwork can therefore now be found around the entrance and through the queue line, as well as a new piece of theming in the former location of the iconic Red House in one of Balder's turnarounds. Even though the change is very subtle, it will surely improve the whole experience, and finally justify the ride's location in the Myths and Legends area. In the northern parts of the park, the almost 40-year-old sports arena Lisebergs Hallen, as well as some backstage offices, have been demolished during the winter to make way for the train tunnel Westlenken. The construction is set to affect Lisebergs until as late as 2022. During this time, Lisebergs will be building temporary office buildings as well as facades along the entranceway in order to make construction less noticeable for visitors passing by. In 2020, Liseberg is once again focusing on the families as they are investing 200 million Swedish crowns into expanding the children's area, Kaninlandet. The expansion will include a theme restaurant, a new stage and the highly anticipated replacement for the Liseberg classic Sagoslottet, called Underlandet. A dark ride where guests will be able to follow the Liseberg rabbit to their underground world for the first time. The dark ride that is projected to cost around 150 million Swedish crowns will be 190 meters long and will have a ride time of 3.5 minutes. In total there are going to be 18 separate ride vehicles, each carrying 4 passengers, leading to an hourly capacity of 850 riders. The ride will be supplied by Italian manufacturer Gossetto, the same company that manufactured the ride system for Blåtåget at Grönalund and the theming will be done by PMP projects from the Netherlands. Working on the project as well will be British Quarryfold Studio, 
who have previously worked on a lot of other Lisbeth projects, like last year's new attraction Valkyria and 2017's Luke. The ride will be built within a two-story, 1,700 square meter show building located in the back corner of the land, taking the place of the current children's theater, Kvarnteatern. Instead, the now empty Tobsenen will be the new home of the Rabbit Theater and has received playful backgrounds and props to fit the theme. The new Rabbit Theater will already be open by 2019, one year ahead of the rest of the expansion, to allow for work to progress on Underlandet. The expansion will also include the opening of a new restaurant that will be themed to the park's mascot, the Green Lisbeth Rabbits, that will be located in the current Café Taub. Needless to say, we have two really exciting seasons upon us, with major changes to the park ahead of its 100th anniversary in 2023, and a new dark ride that will really complete the park's lineup of attractions. At the moment, the next few years are shaping up to be truly exciting, and I can't wait to find out more about what's coming to Lisbeth in the future. If you are as well, then make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest news from Lisbeth. And if you liked the video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up, as it really helps out the channel. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.